the chart question type. So you want to put in your information. Next, we're going to make the title. Put in what the maximum Y axis is going to be. Put the title of the X axis. And then the title of the Y axis. Then we need to do our labels. So in this case, it's going to be the cities. Next, we determine the value. Where do we want these to start off at? If we start them at zero, then they're going to start at the very bottom of the bar graph that we create. You can always put a couple of them on there. So I could put Atlanta at 76 and Chicago at 67 and then make them so they are not interactive so that there's a couple bars that are already there. So you might do that with your young students and then leave the rest of them interactive so that they have to move them. You'll notice that I added, click this to add additional rows Next, I need to say what the answers are. You'll notice it's clicking to the nearest five. So what I need to do is go up to additional setup options and snap to units and I'm just gonna say one because I want it to be able to go to those exact numbers. And what's the correct response threshold? So I might put this as two units so that, you know, if they're within two um, tick marks as it were as the ticks as they click along then it would mark it correct I could ignore the order and that's the order that um, the points are in the chart looking at these additional setup options I can change it from a bar chart to a line chart You've got a histogram, you've got dot plots, and you've got line plots. So you can choose any of those. For histogram only, you can display X and Y axes grid lines, or you can just do vertical or horizontal or no grid lines. You can also choose to have multicolor bars. Now there are controls that you can give your students. You can allow them to add new points to the chart by clicking on the add data button, which will display in the question. They can edit the point label. They can delete a point and you can um, make those new points interactive. And then you can also have them reorder points. Um, and it's not available for our line chart. And as with the other questions, we can add learning objectives. And if we preview this, you can see how those first two I set up to already be there, but then the rest are interactive. Now if I set it up so that they could change the label, then they would be able to change these labels down here.